he goes in for um, just a, a regular laborer type job, and he, he wants to be interviewed for management, things that he doesn't have experience or, or training for. The money he gets that he says is claims is from jobs is because he'll say, oh, I'm so starving, so his dad will slip him $20. He'll spend five on food and 15 on toys and paint. How did you get fired at orientation? You got fired one time at orientation. Where was this at? I, you oh, tell me. You tell me. It wasn't just one time. It was like several See, times. All, these are all fabricated no, lies. No, 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 no. no, no. You, you told us about this. The only place that I really show poise and that I'm not and have super anxiety is on set. I can talk to the DP and say, I want you to push in right here. I can talk to my other actors. Then I can immediately jump into the other side and throw myself into the scene in 30 seconds. Okay, but answer this. Why should somebody give you that job when someone else has worked themselves up through the ranks, earned credibility, gotten experience, demonstrated that they have the skill and ability? Why should somebody let you just walk in off the street and start telling a DP when to push in or not push in or whatever? Why should somebody do that? Why, why should they take something where they might be spending $50 million on, on a movie and let some guy that can't wake up in the morning show up and start telling somebody how because to do something. if that's what they're going to judge me by, that I can't wake up in the morning, not all the talents, the ways that I communicate. Well, how do they know you have talent? You, what if you, show me how something. How do I get there, Dr. Well, Joe? show me something. Show me something you've accomplished. How do I get there? I mean, I... You I, wake up in the morning. You want to start at the top. I don't want to start at the top, but I really, at the same time, I've went through a whole process of struggle to get there, and it just hasn't happened for me. There's, there's, there's What's many your ownership in that? I, I think that there's a lot of things that I can't, I do need help with. What? Um, I don't know how to control my mind. It's, it's, it's creative. I don't know how to control my sleep patterns. I don't know how to fix a lot of things that I believe are broken inside of me. Like what? My mentality is not, is not fully there. I believe that all the creativity and the, the, um, uh, the talent to, to do these things, to rather be an actor or to uh, create suits for a motion picture or even just be a vital uh, person working on set. I think that I do have everything that it takes to that. I just can't control it and contain it. The honest to God truth is he is borderline creative genius. He could win a Grammy, he could win an acting award, but I tell him you're never gonna do it sleeping 20 hours in your room I just have never gotten through to him to say, if you want those things, you have to go work hard to get it because you are, you are talented, but what good is it if, if the only people that know it are the people that live with you and, and, and never get to experience it? So if you really want those things, you've got to get right. The other spectrum of this mania that I go through is a severe, severe depression where I'm not doing any of that creative stuff. I'm in my room stuck stuck in there and stuck to all of these thoughts and all of these creations and miserable. And I also, you know, just yesterday, they wanted me to create something for the show and I've put to the test and I rage. I, I want to go, I was like, is this what you want? I go through another spectrum where I was like, I'll paint this hotel room if you'd like. I'll customize this whole thing. It gets to a part where I want to defend myself and, and there's a monster dwelling inside here.